Hey, what's up? It's Jared. Today I wanted to talk about notebooks and Notion and how I'm utilizing them. A lot has changed since I started using Notion and how I was using notebooks. Notion started out as a notebook for me as I was looking for ways to do things better than how I was doing them in Evernote and the Todoist app that I was using in conjunction with each other. Moving over to Notion, I was able to build out some systems and get some things connected to where I could really stay on top of what I was working on and have a good, easy way to see where my attention needed to be. Now, as I started using Notion, especially in my notebooks, I started getting uh, to the point where my notebook wasn't working well for me as an easy way to input information. I also had a couple of instances where I wanted to export my information out of Notion, and I realized that having everything in one giant database might not have been the best way to go. Now, in Notion, it is very easy to create a database and even have multiple notebooks because you could just put all the entries in there and sort them. You can have a property that is the notebook and you can have all of these notebooks listed as a property type. You can select them and then you can create some custom views to only see the notebook that you're interested in seeing. Now, as cool as that is to have one database that houses all of the notebooks, it was getting to be a little challenging for the different views, especially when I was on something smaller like a smartphone, and also just to have a place to dump thoughts into, which was my inbox, it wasn't as easy as I would have liked it to be. So I decided a few months ago to set my, uh, my notebooks up a little bit differently by actually having a separate database for each of those. Even though I know that that is a waste of databases coming from my programmer background, having a ton of databases is not as good as having one super functional database, but in Notion, the way that things work right now, I think that it is the better option, especially if you ever plan on moving your data out of Notion somewhere else. Until Notion gets better at allowing you to control your data before you export it, I think the best thing to do right now is to have databases for those different areas. The only problem with that is that when you start to link databases together, the more databases you have, the more links you're gonna have to have, and that process can slow down other areas within Notion. But we're not gonna dive into that. We're just gonna talk more about our notebooks right now. So what you're looking at is my current notebook setup. We will look at my dashboard soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, in this video, but my notebooks are all listed here. And some of these notebooks are areas that already existed in Notion for me that didn't used to be in my notebook. For example, my daily log was, which is kind of a notebook, lived on the top level, as well as my bookmarks, which are uh, websites and stuff that I save uh, as I'm browsing the internet, my expenses log, stuff like that. Those are kind of notebooks, like if I was doing everything analog, I would have a separate notebook for all of those, but organizing them in Notion, I decided they all needed to be right here because I can use my inbox to easily throw stuff in and then drag those things into the appropriate notebook that they need to go in and then I can work on them from there. So last night I was kind of laying in bed with a bunch of thoughts. And as you can see the timestamps here, uh, when I entered them, I was looking through and trying uh, just to get the thoughts that were in my mind out so that I could put them away and get myself to sleep. And one of the last ones was some Airtable content that I wanna create. I've been using Airtable for other specific uses, mostly with clients and stuff. And so I wanted to, uh, to have a couple of things, whether they be a course or some YouTube videos, and I was just jotting thoughts down into my phone. And so now that that's in my inbox, I would probably wanna take this and drag it into my projects. And now it is in the appropriate uh, section in my notebook. And so if I go into my projects, you can see that I have that Airtable entry here, and I can go in and I can add tags, and I can add a status to it if I would like, um, and a web address, and then of course I can open it up and view the entire page. I could then go back to my notebook and I'm right back where I started with one less item in my inbox. And so I typically would go and take my inbox items and sort them. Now I can throw anything in my inbox, even if this is a video, like for example, this uh, build a planner in Notion 
is a video that I want to produce. And so this needs to go into my content calendar. So I can drag this all the way over to my content calendar. And now it's in that database. So you can drag these things anywhere you want. Just because the inbox is in your notebook doesn't mean that you can't put information in there that's going to go outside of your notebooks area. So I uh, definitely am utilizing it for that. But the inbox is an easy place to drop things. Notice that all there is here is a name and the created date that automatically populates. And I like the created date because then I can look and see if maybe I've got a few days worth of inbox items. Yeah, okay, now it's time for me to clean out my inbox. I need that inbox zero. So my notebooks are organized like that because then if I want to export something, for example, if I want to come into my assets manager and export all of these assets because maybe uh, the insurance company needed it or something like that, I can easily export this entire database that contains only assets and I don't have to worry about trying to sort and filter out all of the other information from all the other notebooks, which can be kind of a pain in Notion if you're using one database for all of these things. So that makes it a lot nicer that I can do that and the exporting is easy because there are a lot of areas over here. My expenses log, I will probably need to send over to my accountant uh, after the first of the year. And so it's gonna be really nice for me just to easily be able to export that data and have all the receipts and all the information there and not have to sort through all of the other data that came along with it because I was using a database for a lot of different reasons. I think that's a downfall of Notion that we can't just use one database, sort what we wanna sort and export everything. You definitely can export from custom views that have filtering applied, but it still gives you the entire database. It just filters out the pages that were being displayed. So it's, it's almost there, but it's not all the features that I would want to uh, have total control over the exports. So what's nice uh, about this notebook setup is that it is functional. It's easy for me to get in and add items. I have a shortcut set up on my phone that I've been using for a while. Since I've been uh, messing with shortcuts and you can actually use a shortcut to launch a, a website address, I've been using shortcuts on my phone to launch Spotify playlists and Notion areas in Notion and a lot of other things that have a direct website address that I can give it. So if I want to add something into my inbox, I simply tap on my Notion shortcut I choose the area that I want to go into, so perhaps my inbox, and then I can just tap on new and start adding an item to my inbox. It's absolutely fantastic and super simple. So I have a, uh, a short template uh, that's kind of a basis for this for you. It's going to be kind of empty, but it gives you the layout so you can actually just apply this template and have everything there for you, which I think would give you a great jump start. To show you my dashboard, my dashboard has the inbox there as well. And then it also has one other area that I have pulled in also from another notebook. And so these are being brought in uh, and, and populated here so I can easily add another inbox item. I can even drag and sort these into another area. So uh, this uh, core databases in Notion is a video that I wanna do so I could drag that up to my content calendar. Uh, this one year with Notion is another one. I'm almost at my one year with Notion already. Um, and then also this review request convert kit template. These are all videos that I want to produce. So they wouldn't necessarily go into a notebook. They'd go into my content calendar, which is something that I have under the calendar section. So the inbox is going to work out great here. It's easy for me to get items into it, which is important. And then having all of the separate uh, notebooks allows me to organize everything. And then if I need to export for any reason into the future to move to a new app or just to put my data somewhere else or even just to have a backup, I don't have a giant jumbled mess of data. I have things sectioned out and segmented. If Notion gives us more control over exporting our data, I may eventually move back to having one giant database to kind of rule them all because that definitely is better for linking up in other databases. It's going to be a real bummer if I had to have a linked database for each of these notebooks in my content calendar. I just definitely wouldn't do it. 
I would only have one of these that relates to my content calendar linked up, and, and that might be limiting in some ways. It means that I would only be able to have one notebook linked to my content calendar instead of being able to mention any notebook that I want in my content calendar. So there's limitations either way, and I know I may be sp uh, speaking, if you're more of a beginner in Notion, I may be speaking at times a little bit uh, over the level in which you're at right now, which is okay. I recommend just taking my, my notebooks template and applying that, clicking around and starting to utilize it, make it your own, and figure out how you can implement that best in your life. If there comes a day where Notion gives us more export power and I decide for myself that I think having one database to rule them all is better, then I may come back and produce a video and we'll talk about how we can convert what we have into that master database. But for now, this I think is the best use of notebooks and the best setup that I've found in all the different configurations that I've tried. So I hope that you found this interesting. Definitely, as I mentioned before, check out my course on how to organize your life in Notion. I also have some more courses coming soon, so make sure to check out the link down in the description below. So if you're interested in learning more about how to organize your life in Notion, setting up a project manager, task manager, a calendar, and even just organizing your contacts and how you can tie all those things together to make a nice cohesive second brain for everything that you have going on in your life, you're definitely going to like my course on organizing your life within Notion. Whether you need that system or not, in this course I teach you how to set up everything and connect everything together so you learn how to use databases, make them talk to each other, and just make data work for you within Notion. And by the time that you finish this course, you'll be able to build those systems out for yourself. I think it's highly knowledgeable information, especially if you're wanting to utilize Notion to the best of its ability. So definitely check out that link down in the description below and give my course a few moments. You can watch the first three videos for free. But that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much for being here, and I hope to see you back in the next video.